Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, not only will I update you on my minoxidil journey that you guys can now see, my beer is still here, still growing, but also I want to touch on another topic that's still related to your beard and my beard, but this doesn't necessarily apply to minoxidil beards. You, This can also be useful to regular beards. So whether you have started or you haven't started minoxidil yet, this will be useful for you. And it's the do's and don'ts when growing a beard. Because even though this might seem the easiest thing, hey, just let it grow and it'll grow. Yes, that works. But I thought I'll give you some useful tips that have worked for me that I think will work for you too. So first, do off the list. Even though many people tell you to not trim while you're letting your beard grow, I'm telling you, do trim. But there's an exception. We don't all grow a beard the same way. We don't all grow a beard at the same pace and it doesn't always grow even. I'm gonna show you something. This is my beard. I've been letting this beard grow for No Shave November. You guys will be able to see where my weak spots are. And even though I don't have empty spots, these are fairly visible still. But right here is where you guys might be seeing a weak spot. See, this is a lot darker. This is a lot darker and longer. And here's where I might be struggling. However, if you look at it from far, not really a huge, huge difference. Trimming. But you're not going to trim this because it's weak. You're going to trim the other side. So if this is a little bit longer, this is a little bit longer too, it's going to make it look weaker than ever if you let these keep growing at their normal pace and leave this guy behind. You're giving it no help. Took my trimmer, went ahead and just trimmed it a little bit so that I could let this guy catch up with the other two. In the long run, this will help you even out the growth. If you guys do not own a trimmer, I can recommend you this one that I have. It's my Remington trimmer. It's been really useful for me at the beginning of my journey. Now I am uh, thinking of upgrading my trimmer, but this is still a great trimmer for all of you who are just starting your minoxidil journey or haven't been on it for more than six to eight months. This will be great. It comes with plenty different levels to trim your beard. So if you want to keep this a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, this will solve it. And it also comes with different heads, which will allow you to change it from this to maybe an ear hair trimmer, nose hair trimmer. And it even has one head to smooth the, the stubbles. So if you are interested in this one, I will leave you a link in the description below to get the same exact one that I have. Okay, now that do not while letting your beard grow. Do not forget to wash your beard. And this is important because many guys think that just by rinsing your face, you'll be fine, your beard will be okay and everything. And whether you're using minoxidil or you're not using minoxidil, you should remember to use soap to wash your beard. Because if you just wash your face by rinsing, just like that, or if you don't even rinse your beard, and that's bad. Your beard will tangle much easier. It will get really dry. Now back into the do's. Do moisture your beard while letting it grow. A great moisturizer for your beard is to use some organic oils. I personally have used my Jamaican black castor oil and the addition of a mix of three different oils, I believe that I had. But yeah, this is like an extra boost for your beard to look very good, very healthy, and also strong. However, disclaimer, it will not help you grow a beard like minoxidil. So this does not grow beard where there's not existing hairs. This helps you strengthen it and moisturize it, which is very important because you're gonna grow a long beard aren't you? Here's one of the ones that I've used. My Jamaican black castor oil. Um, this is my second bottle because a year ago I ordered another one and it's gone. But uh, this one, so you guys can see I still have a lot left. Um, this can last you, like I said, about a year. It depends how much you use that. But I've also used it on my hair. So maybe that's why. No, 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 no. Come on. Everything's set up. You can't leave right now. So let me finish. I'm almost done. And this right here is a mix of three oils that I've made. It has jojoba oil, peppermint oil, and argan oil. All these three oils are very good for your beard. That would help you a lot. And they're not as thick as the Jamaican black castor oil. But I still added some of the JBCO in this. So it just depends on how I'm feeling today. If I'm feeling like I gotta go soon, I might just apply this to my beard. And not the Jamaican black castor oil. Because that one takes a little bit longer. You have to have it for at least 45 minutes on. But if you do want to start applying the Jamaican black castor oil, like I said, 
I have a video on my channel that you can watch. It's a tutorial about it and you have the link on where to get that one. But if you want to get this one, I'll also leave you a few links on where I got my oils so you can do your own mix. So it's up to you whether you want to do the mix or you want to use just one. But please tell me you're going to moisture your beard because it's very important. Okay, another do not when letting your beard grow. And I didn't realize I was doing this until I started seeing some of my hairs fall. Stroking your beard or or not necessarily stroking it, but playing too much with it. Yes, it is a very satisfying feeling and a very satisfying thing to do, but it does damage your beard and it just slows you down a lot when it comes to letting your beard grow. And last but not least, biotin. I'm still taking this once a day, every day. And not only does it help me gr grow my beard faster and healthier, but it also help helps me grow my hair and it helps my nails and my immune system in general. So why not take a great supplement like biotin? As a matter of fact, a healthier beard will allow you to grow a better beard. I use the Nature's Bounty brand. Doesn't make a difference if you use a different brand, but if you do want to use the one that I use, I'll leave another link for this as well on the description below. And the last don't of the list. This is totally up to you. If you want to grow like a bum, if you want to look like a lumberjack, fine with me. But this is just a personal one. Line it up. You don't have to necessarily line it up here and stuff. But it is not the most pleasant thing to see a beard all the way up here or all the way down here where you're growing a neck beard or just connect into the back of your hair. Again, it's totally up to you. If you like that look, go for it. Also, another thing, if you guys haven't noticed, I have let this grow. It was always there. I just used to shave it. Um, I like the look of it without it, but now I'm letting it grow. All right, guys, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And no, I did not forget about the giveaways. It's coming soon. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. I will try to get to you as soon as possible, and I will see you guys next time.